I'm here with Dexter Jackson, the winner of the 2008 Australian Pro Grand Prix, three times winner of the Australian Grand Prix, and three times winner of the most prestigious Arnold Classic. How did it feel to have your name called out as a three-time winner of the Arnold Classic, Dex? It was an amazing feeling. Um, it's like winning for the first time all over again. I mean, each win is special, but this was really special because I lost my title, and it was something that I really wanted to regain. And I worked my butt off last year, and this year, of course, and I got it back. You're one of the top top guys in the world now. What's your plans for this year's Olympia? Um, from what, what I look like at the Arnold, few more improvements I, I think I can do I think I can win this thing man so I'm gonna I'm really work my butt off again um, and try and take the title from Jay mr. Troy Elves Troy welcome to Melbourne Australia welcome back here for the first time since 2003 how have things been going things have been going really well just uh, I'm a grandfather now and I'm very proud you're a what I'm a grandfather my granddaughter is name is McKenna she's uh, one year and two months uh, yesterday that's incredible. You're in great shape. How do you go about getting shape? Are you someone who has to do a whole lot of cardio or you're naturally fairly lean guy? How would you describe your sort of metabolism? I have a really fast metabolism. I, you know, I, I eat relatively good throughout the year and it takes so much for me to be able to put on weight. But um, I stay within 10, 15 pounds max over my contest weight so I don't have to struggle to put uh, to come down for a contest and I don't do a lot of cardio because I'm kind of lazy I'd have to admit so that way um, I don't have to do no more than 45 minutes cardio at one time so it's uh, it's relatively works in my favor as far as my laziness big Tony Freeman the X-Man why do they call you the X-Man oh it's obvious ain't it it's because you got the X-Shape not the H-Man exactly exactly I'm one of the few guys that has you know where the shoulders and the quad sweep lines up and uh it forms a perfect X in certain certain poses. Tony, you, you're uh, 41 years of age. You look incredible. You're in the best shape of your life right now. Maybe not right this minute, but um, I think I'm getting there. Um, still you know, improving. Still improving. So you know, there's this ultimate zen of conditioning that I'm looking for. But I think I put on enough muscle to hang with all the you know with anyone. So it just now it's just fine tuning and and nailing that conditioning. Melvin, uh, what have you been doing for the last seven years? You've been c competed right through. You had some injuries. You came good, but you're really back on top and placing well. Yeah, I had to make some adjustments. I had to, uh, you know, adjust my diet. Um, I got back with my trainer in 2004. I got back with Chad Nichols. So uh, we've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, research, a lot of you know, tightening up on our, our diet regimen and supplementation. So we've been having a, a really um, a successful, you know, four years of, you know, just moving up, improving every show. Those crazy routines that you do, have you always been a natural mover or have you had to really work at it? Uh, yeah, I think that every, God gives everyone a gift to do certain things. So some, some people have the gift of having size, some people have the gift of singing, some people have the gift of art. Uh, I was born with the gift of being able to dance. You know, even as a baby, I had rhythm. You know, my mother always you know, told me I was going to be a movie star or a dancer or something. So I just evolved and in bodybuilding, it's working as my niche because it's my gift and that's what I'm good at. If you could improve anything about your physique, what would it be? Uh, for me, it's just a condition game for me. Uh, you know, trying to be as full as possible um, with the best condition because they really judge me harshly on condition. And uh, even when I think I'm, I'm on, they might say, oh, you know, I'm a little bit too full or oh, you might want to come down a little bit, be a little bit harder. So it's, it's for me to improve, it's always condition game. And that's, that's the one thing I want to change and make sure that I nail it. Once I get that, you know, that regiment, continue to just push, push the, you know, the envelope every year. I go to the gym, train about an hour a day, and the rest, rest of the day, day is mine. So I have nothing to do but eat and hang out. I do an hour at a time. You know, like when I'm training for shows, I usually go at least twice a day. Um, you know, when I'm really after it, sometimes I go three times a day. But, um, you know, now I have, I have cardio near home. So I'd knock that out, do my abs and calves and cardio, and then I'll do one or two weight sessions, depending on what I'm trying to accomplish at the time. What kind of food gets you in shape? Are you a beef, chicken, or fish sort of guy? I, if I really want to get lean really fast, I go to, I go to fish kind of diet. But if I'm doing it, I want to take it a little bit slower uh, program so I hold on to all my muscle, I have to incorporate some type of red meat in there because, for one, I don't have to eat much, and it keeps me much fuller and keeps my density up, muscle density up. So at the beginning of my uh, prep, I'll stick with uh, red meat and chicken and then egg whites. And then uh, as the diet goes along, 
as I begin to just better better shape, then I want to uh, start going down to um, incorporating fish into my diet because that will get my skin thinner. I'm a red meat man. I um, can't eat too much beef, so I'm using bison. Um, it's a clean, the cleanest form of red meat. I think I think ostrich and kangaroo is probably a little cleaner, but that's hard to come by in America. So I'm eating bison probably three times a day, and then chicken and fish sparingly. Fish is the worst, but I do crave tuna out of the can. For some reason, I'm not a, I hate tuna, unless I make it with mayonnaise and relish and that, but dry tuna by itself, when I'm dieting, for some reason I crave that with a rice cake. So I might supplement one of my fish meals, my grilled fish for the tuna, and it works out fine, but that's the absolute worst. I can't, I can't stand fish. I used to hate egg whites. I used to hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. I learned how to make them really tasty now, so now I can eat unlimited amounts of egg whites. It doesn't even look like egg whites. You know, I use, I got a hand blender, and I blend them up real good, and I put them in the microwave a little couple of minutes, put Splenda and vanilla flavoring in there and cinnamon. It tastes like um, oatmeal. It has a texture of oatmeal. It's pretty amazing. You know, for me to win through Honor Classic and to win Olympia is, that sets me, that sets me apart from every, from all the other great bodybuilders like the Flex Wheelers and the Chris Camiers and all those guys. Gives you your, your place in history. And you will go down in history as one of the greatest champions, one of the greatest physiques of all time. And on behalf of all the Australian bodybuilding fans, we'd like to thank the great champion Dexter Jackson on Muscle TV. Thanks, Dex. Let's go, give up the dance.